Hey everybody, Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. I appreciate you stopping by. This is a long awaited tutorial uh, for anybody that is trying to get Google Meet Grid View on their iPad. Um, so I've spent a lot of time this week. I've gotten a lot of messages and emails asking about how to do it. Um, there is not a simple way to do it and I apologize for that. However, I have found a workaround um, that's pretty simple once you get everything installed. So there's a few things that you need to understand. This is a workaround. This is not just a simple click. What you're actually going to be doing is you're going to be jumping into your desktop or laptop from your iPad and controlling that computer with Chrome Remote Desktop. Um, so a few things that you need. First of all, you need your iPad, right? Second of all, you need a desktop or a laptop that is connected to the network continuously or in a place where you can turn it off and on. Uh, so if you're trying to connect to your desktop at school, you're going to have to turn off sleep mode at the school, which is not ideal, ideal right? Um, if you're just doing it from your home and you want to connect to your desktop or um, <coughs> your laptop, that's a lot easier. Um, and then obviously you would need to be able to set up Google Meet and have GridView installed, the GridView extension installed on Google Meet. So the three things again, just for clarity, is you need an iPad with remote desktop on it. You need a desktop or a laptop with remote desktop on it. You need Google Chrome extension, the GridView Google Chrome extension for Meet. And I'm going to try and do this all. I've done this three or four times on my own. I'm trying to do this tonight. So if we have some hiccups, it's we're all learning in the process, right? So, and hopefully it will solve your question. Okay. So the first place I want to point you to is I'm going to get, I've got to get a huge shout out to nine to five Mac. I've been all over the internet trying to figure out how to do this and get this set up the right way. And there's only three or four websites that have articles about how to do this. And so I am not going to go through the whole tutorial. I will put the link in the description that has everything, how to set it up on your iPad side and then on the computer side, and then you just connect the two. It's very easy. It took me about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I just didn't record myself doing it because every time I uninstall, I have to go back and install and it takes just a little bit of time that first time that you install them because they are downloads uh, for your computer and your iPad. So this article right here, which is called how to use Chrome uh, remote desktop on an iPad, will show you how to do that and I will do the video part. Now I'm gonna slide over one more screen. I'm gonna go back here and back here. Uh, if I can find my iPad, wherever it went. Uh, did it disconnect? Oh, it did, that stinks. Uh, let me see if I can connect again, see? It's just because I'm showing you guys the first time, right? So I'm gonna scan my code there. And then we're gonna screen mirror here. Okay, so I am on my iPad and what this is going to look like right here is the remote desktop. So if you go into the app store and you search for remote desktop, it's going to be right there. On the iPad, when you click on remote desktop, it's gonna try and connect to my computer. And I've turned this off on purpose so I can actually do this live while I'm here, right, uh, on the screen. So again, this is my iPad just mirrored on my iMac. It is not taking it over and this works for um, Windows devices as well, right? So you can connect to both because what you're actually doing is you're going into the browser, you're not going into the computer. So this is something that your account needs to be connected. Your Gmail account needs to be connected. It needs to be the same one. So this is now um, my laptop or desktop computer. And I do not have set up remote access. So I want to turn that on. And, uh, and it's going to say, Hey, do you want to install this? I'm going to say yes. And I'm just going to actually change this there. We'll do that. Um, and I should already have it there unless I took it off last week, which I may have. So we're going to jump back over here and we're just going to do Google remote desktop. And then I'm going to turn it on. We're going to go next. I'm going to choose a pin. Let's make sure that you can connect, that you're the only one that can connect from your iPad. So then I'm going to hit start. And what you can't see right now is it's basically 
you know, opening up the keychain and all those things to give it access. So there's some things that you're going to have to give access to because what you're doing is you're remotely jumping into your computer. This isn't just a click of a button. Uh, you've got to allow, um, you know, passwords these days, right? Uh, we've all got like a bazillion of them and I'm sure I forgot it. Um, hopefully that's the same one. We're going to update that. Now it says that I'm online. So it's going to take just a minute. I'm going to go back over to my iPad. You can see here, it's still offline. So see if I can reopen it. Now you'll see that the computer is online. Now that's, that's the number that the school gave me. That's how my computer is known at the school. Obviously it's a school asset, right? So, um, what I'm going to do now is I am on my iPad, right? I am going to click into, to take over the desktop of my um, iMac. So as soon as I do this, what it's going to do is it's basically going to connect the two things together. And I have to enter the pin now. And what's going to happen is if you can see this, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to type in my pin and then hit return. And then what you'll see, hopefully, is a bunch of weird things happening on the screen. Uh, this is not what I did last time. So this is what it worries me a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's connecting. I assume that it's connecting. And if not, I am sure I broke it. Uh, I don't want to have to do this whole thing over again because it worked like the times. And I think it's just because I'm recording. I know that's what it is, right? Um, anyway, what it should look like is... all the stuff here and I'm getting a window in window, right? So I want to pull up remote desktop again. And I am going to turn off the connection to my iPad and see if I can jump in through Google meet and have this person be a guest as well. So let's try that. I think it's because I'm recording. And so I'm going to turn this off. We'll try it. We're going to stop mirroring. And I'm still recording here, right? So let's go over here. We're going to open Chrome. And what you really want to see is to see if the extension works, which it does. You can see now that I have on my iPad, and I think it's because I'm recording, right, is I am now controlling the desktop. So I'm actually going to close the window on my desktop, and you'll see that, right? So you'll see this little thing right down here. It says your desktop is currently shared with da 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 da, -da dot so-and-so. So now... Um, if I want to open Chrome and I just went back over to, there we go. So I am controlling this now from my iPad and I'm going to try and show you this while I'm doing this so you can see. So it's not as precise as you would normally want it. So I'm going to show my keypad and I'm going to delete that. Just meet google.com we're going to hit return i'm going to join or start a meeting and what you can see hopefully on my camera let's scroll over here very small now because every time i switch it switches here is i have all the extensions up here on my ipad so i'm going to start a meeting and just hit test continue Again, this is going to be really wonky and weird. You can zoom in and out. So I'm going to close that little thing right up there with that little X, right? I'm going to zoom back in so you can see that I can see myself in the meeting. I'm going to join the meeting now. And because as I'm dragging this around, hopefully you can see, I'm going to try and hold this up here. It's really not this hard after you get it started. It's just trying to show other people what it does. So I'm going to click off that little X. What you'll see here on my iPad now is I zoom in 
and you'll see hopefully that beautiful it's too bright isn't it oh come on let's see if i can do that that beautiful little grid view extension for so we're going to do that and because i'm the only one in the meeting it's not pulling people up um, if I wanted to, I could do that. What I would suggest is waiting until everybody gets in the meeting and then jumping over on your iPad. If you're the one that wants to start it and you want to see all of your kids, you could do that as well. So another workaround that I have seen, it's not ideal either, is that somebody takes one window on their computer and basically creates that as a guest and pulls that into the grid view. So I've seen this done on a phone. Um, the problem is, is somebody else has to pull it up. So you'll see, um, I am controlling the grid view here. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can do this. I'm actually going to join with a bunch of people, uh, on my desktop. Hopefully we don't lose control and I'm going to mute everybody. You've seen us do this before here. So we're going to add four guests and we're going to mute all four versions of ourselves. We're going to join. And then I just want to make sure that everybody knows like this is working. I'm not just like making stuff up. I've tried really hard to be like, because there are people all over the place asking. They're like, how do we get this on the iPad? I'm like, let me figure it out. We'll try and figure it out. So you can see it's already working as another person jumps in the meeting. Um, it's already pulling into grid view. You can see there's three of us there. Well, three of me, not three of us, because you're the other person. Um, it's times like these when I wonder uh, if people just think I'm crazy or, yeah, I actually know they think I'm crazy. So I mute myself, join here. So we've got four Spencers in here. We're all muted. And now there we are on the iPad through the Chrome desktop extension. So once again, the three things that you'll need to have are one, an iPad, which is right here. Two, um, obviously a desktop or a laptop three, the grid meet extension, um, on your regular Google Chrome. Then what you'll do is you'll install the remote desktop for Google on your iPad. Then you'll do it on your computer. Then you'll connect the two together. If you have questions, it it's really easy in that Mac nine to five where it goes step by step by step and everything it's gonna ask you and all of the things. And I'm actually gonna close this now because I'm sick of seeing myself four times. Um, and what I'm going to do, if it will allow me to do this, is I'm going to mirror now. So you're looking at my desktop uh, on my iMac and uh, or my MacBook, and I'm going to jump in and see if I can on my iPad take control so you can see. So there's that, you can see the same thing. It's not mirroring, right? I have control. If I double click on one of these folders, um, I don't wanna do my taxes or my student loan info and that's horrible. Uh, let's do, oh, parking video. So we did a parking video for all our parents because we switched up our parking this year. So I just opened up on the iPad, this video, this folder that I have there. I wanna shrink it down. Again, thank you for uh, being patient with me. And uh, I know for a lot of you, I said I was gonna try and have this out last week. It was just making sure all the cameras and everything worked and got connected. Um, I hope this helps a lot of you, not just a few of you. I hope this helps so many of you. Um, that's really what I'm here to do is help save you time, energy, and frustration. Uh, the initial setup is probably about 10, 15 minutes tops. Um, and then to log in, it's just really quick. You can just connect just like that. You type in your password and you're done. Again, if this brought value to, to you, if this solved a problem for you, if this saved you time, if this is going to save you energy, if this is gonna save you frustration um, and bring you joy, which hopefully it does, right? The grid view is amazing. We did it as a faculty the other day and we had you know 40 of our teachers on there at the same time. Um, it was just awesome. It was awesome just to see all their faces, right? Um, I don't have students, and so that was uh, that was a pretty awesome moment for me. Uh, anyway, um, I love you. I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here. I'm now going to click stop sharing. I'm not going to be.